Hi, this is Will from And people often ask, do you actually test? What? The product that you write about? Um, and the answer is obviously yes. Um, so, most people get into gear testing because they love being outdoors. They're looking for a way, one, to make it cheaper, and two, to give them a reason for getting out more of and justify what they're doing. That's certainly my case. And today would be fairly typical. I've got a couple of items that I'm using for the first time and an item that I've been using for a long time. And you try and find something that's going to give them a good and realistic test. So today I'm wearing a pair of trail shoes and a wind shirt and the trail shoes I really wanted to find out because they're a minimalist shoe how well they can put up with uneven ground with being off road and uh, the wind shirt I wanted to know how it would do on a hot day when there is wind so I found a route that was over, so sat over 12 13,000 feet for a significant amount of time so by the end of the day I would have and um, had about 5,000 foot of vertical gain of loss. So here's the trail we've been following. We started off by going up uh, there. So let me start by telling you a little bit about what we've just done. We went up this peak first. This is Matt Angleman from somewhere over there. And then we followed the ridge around over Robeson, around and over Bard Peak. And then we came over Parnassus right here before coming down to where we are now. And we're headed up Woods Peak. Was there sweat? Absolutely. Thankfully there's been no blood and so far no tears. This is a fairly typical way of testing the gear before we tell you if we like it or not. And uh, I have to say, it's been rather fantastic. Patagonia, zero shoes, and high to light. The ladder I'm using will get double thumbs up today. And uh, my soul has been restored. This is Will Rickards from Indiana.com telling you, yes, we do test the product that we get, and yes, we love being out here. Hopefully see you on the trail.